what is up you lovely lot and welcome back to the channel and yet another product review today we are going to look at another top down product called the TC view now this essentially is an infrared module that you connect to the bottom of your phone to check out various things that you may need to check regarding overheating not heating enough etc etc we'll go through all that this does throughout this video once we've unboxed it we'll get into it and I will tell you my opinion the price where you can buy it. I'll leave a link in the description of course but first things first let's get this open and see what we get inside so flipping it over we see a quick overview of exactly what this does it's a 256 by 192 high-res infrared camera with real-time temperature waveforms compatible with Windows and Android although it will not work with Apple so if you've got an iPhone it won't work for you Temperature automatic alarm, testable temp range between minus 20 and up to 550 Celsius. I mean, that's a pretty big range. And you can also customize the image optimization as well to suit what you're looking to achieve by using one of these products. There is not much else you can see on the box. So what we'll do is we'll get this open and check out the module inside. Now here's one of the things I love about Topped On. Even a product just like this, you still get a hardened case that they send it in. That is just quality, in my opinion. You don't get that with every manufacturer, but with Topped On, all their diagnostic tools, pretty much, and even this little imaging, thermal imaging sensor here, comes in a really, really lovely box as well. We'll whip that out so you can have a little bit of a better look. It just means it's very well protected because these are not cheap. As I said, we'll go through all the specs and the prices towards the end of the video. Inside here, we will get a basic user manual, user guide, well it's actually a quick user guide so uh, we're going to have to go through that, whoops, we're going to have to go through that and then I will come back and show you exactly how this works and connect it to my phone and we'll go from there. Opening up the case, this is what you are greeted with. It looks like we've got a cleaning cloth, a connector cable of some description. That looks to be an extension for a Type-C charger, so that does make sense. But effectively, what you would do to charge it is poke it into the bottom of there and then connect it to your power source, charge it up, etc, etc. Although I do imagine it actually charges via your phone while you're using it, so that could be for data transfer as well. We'll uh, read up about that in a minute. Tiny little microfiber cloth there as well, nice to see. Let's whip this little unit out here and find out exactly what's going on with that. So what we're going to do now guys is we're going to pop outside and I'm going to do some videos of us walking in the woods. I'm going to try to give as many examples as I think are relevant. I've come up with four ideas that I think will show what you can use this for in an everyday environment. These are just four random kind of scenarios that I've chosen off the top of my head for my kind of use as it were because I don't have a garage. There are obviously a thousand and one other things you can use this little thermal imaging module for but these are four that I've come to come up with off the top of my head for someone like me who doesn't need to use this necessarily in a garage environment. I'm hoping this is going to help you guys out so we'll start off as we take a little walk down through the woods and we'll close out at the end of it with some thermal imaging of the outside of my house front and back with the heating on inside the central heating middle of winter to show you if there's any kind of heat leakage as it were any heat escaping where it's escaping and how the thermal imaging module shows that how accurate that is and if I've got any problems there because I think that's going to be very very useful so as I said we'll get out into the woods and and we will have a little look and see one of the four examples and we'll just go through them and at the end I'll give you a conclusion of what I think of this module should you buy one and the price and all the rest of it all right let's go you can see guys if you were in this kind of environment and you couldn't see very much what was going on or you'd lost a person a child an animal anything like that I'm not sure if this is going to be useful in landscape mode so we'll stick it into portrait mode and as you can see I can now see there's a person all the way down there and a dog so if you were literally walking your dog in the winter months and it's after work and it's a little bit dark and you didn't have any choice and you had to walk your dog in the dark god forbid you should actually lose sight of your dog the best thing this camera can do for you in that scenario is you just pop it in and you can see literally in the dark find out exactly where your dog is and then obviously that's going to make things far easier for you just another little thing that this camera can do which i think is going to be so useful in your life so another useful function of this thermal imaging camera is if you are somebody like me who's very very much into nature and conservation that kind of stuff if you are clearing your land as it were and you've got lots of brush that you need to set fire to and all the rest of it you can actually quickly check just to make sure as you can see here in all this brush land that's been taken up and all these branches you can quickly make sure that there's nothing hibernating in there there's another little pile just down here it's so so common that people just literally clear their land and then don't even think about the fact that there could be hedges 
hedgehogs in there. There could be anything, rats, squirrels, well not squirrels, but you know what I'm saying. There could be some kind of wildlife in there hibernating for the winter and they just set fire to it and it happens every single year. People don't check and all sorts of wildlife is literally burnt and that's not funny. I'm, a, I'm hugely into my, my nature and conservation and looking after wildlife, that kind of stuff. So this for me would be brilliant if I was clearing some land. If I wanted to be 100% sure that nothing was going to suffer through my actions as it were, you can literally get this little thermal thing, pop it in the bottom of your camera and just make sure before you set fire to anything that there is actually nothing in these little brush on here before you set fire to it. Just another little useful aspect of having this thermal imaging camera. I mean, obviously one of the main aspects of using a thermal camera like this is, especially for a channel like mine, is to check your engine on your car or any aspect of your car or motorcycle. We've just pulled up now and you can see how hot that engine is there. You can obviously just check that is at 466 Celsius right now, so that's pretty warm. And you can, of course, check your relays to see if they're working, because if you're trying something like a windscreen wiper, you can sit that on. If you know which one of these is the relay just over here, then if that's not getting warm as you're using the windscreen wiper, you know there's obviously a problem with the relay. If your windscreen wipers aren't working, you're not sure and the fuse seems to be okay, you can quickly take off the cover for the fuses and the relays and check to make sure the relay is actually getting warm. If it's not getting warm, then more than likely it will be the relay. Another great aspect, obviously, is if you've got a slightly older car with headers, you can find out if you've got a misfire anywhere and you don't have a diagnostic tool you can find out which cylinder isn't firing the way it should do so if you've got a four cylinder car like this you could just take off this heat shield here and get in behind there and work out exactly which one isn't getting warm it's just a quick fix basically i remember i had a motorcycle a few years ago and it was running on three and i could not work out for the life of me which cylinder it was that ended up being a coil pack but i had to try to basically touch each exhaust to work out which one wasn't getting warm and that's not an ideal situation with something like this of course you can quickly just point it at the headers and find out exactly which one isn't getting warm ergo which spark plug or coil pack you need to replace so another great aspect and another great use for a thermal imaging camera now for the final use for one of these thermal imaging cameras we're going to have to pop out to the front of the house and the back of the house and it'll become obvious what i mean by that So let's talk about the settings and the functionality of this Top Don TC001 thermal imaging module. Essentially, looking at the settings, you've got the camera settings, which will enable you to obviously switch from video to picture. In other words, you can take a picture of what you're looking at and the hotspots around that, or you could actually save the video to your phone as well. Next off, we have what it looks like a dot, because it says dot basically. So effectively, you can have up to four dots. I could put a dot, say, over here, if I wanted to check that leaf. Out. I could put another one up on the top right, bottom left, bottom right. You can have what looks up to four different sections. So as I said, I could put one top left, bottom left, bottom right, right in the center there. And then obviously you can check the temperature in those specific places. If you want to get a baseline from one side to another, you then obviously go to the line, which is the next one in the settings menu, and you just draw a line like so. And that should give you a base of 15 from the bottom up to what looks like 13 um, at the top. We then also have this plain section here, which is actually a box. So you could actually just literally take that as a section there and use that if you wanted to. To get rid of it all, you just press the delete. Now we've also got a section you can adjust the colors in respect to what you want to show up as a hot spot. If you want it to be blue, for instance, you could set it to blue. If you want it to be red, which is the natural, you could set that to red. And the intensities, you could also set that the way you want it to. Essentially, then we go into the settings menu. You can rotate 90 degrees like so if you wanted to. Uh, that's upside down now. And then back around again like you can on a mobile phone. You have got details. So I'm not quite sure what this denotes, but uh, we'll get out of that for a second because I'm not quite sure what that's about. We've got the contrast as well. You can adjust the contrast. You have got pseudo color bars as well. These are the bars that are down the right hand side of the screen as you can see there. You can adjust those. You've got image in image as well. So effectively you've got the actual natural image as you can see there on the top left hand side. You've got the natural image of the plant we're looking at. Then you've got the thermal imaging kind of underneath that. The original overlays the thermal imaging as it were. Then you've got DIY. I'm not sure what that's all about it says set temperature limits um i'm guessing that would be if you wanted them because it goes from minus 20 to 550 celsius from what i gather so if you wanted to 
just basically not have to go from minus cell to you wanted to see if there's anything between 70 and 100 you'd set the minimum at 70 and the maximum at 100 we'll just close that out and that is pretty much it for the settings there's not much else to say around about the settings there's your operating screen you have got the gallery which we'll slip into there that's the videos we've already checked we'll go back out of there we've got personal information you can put in you can log in basically uh, clear your cache change your language you've got the manual the version temperature units you can change all of that within the settings you've then got temperature monitoring now this will basically allow you to video for a certain amount of time how something gets hot so basically you could say i mean fair argument say you could sit it on your car engine on a bracket and then basically start the engine up and see how quickly it gets hot where it gets hot um if it gets too hot that kind of stuff and then look back at the video and use that as a reference i'll get back out of there and then we're back into just the simple thermal imaging as we've been viewing and recording there's the plant skin that is your settings menu for the thermal imaging functionality of the top ton tc001 hoping that helped let's get back out of there so there it is guys, that is the test review of the Top Don TC View, the TC001 as it were. I'm hoping you enjoyed all the tests we did, especially trying to find your missing lost dog. I'm sure that would be quite useful to someone. And obviously looking for any kind of um, habitating, hibernating rodents or anything else like that in the winter months when you want to set fire to shrubbery that kind of stuff I'm, I'm sure that would be useful to anybody like me who's into you know conserving nature and is concerned about that kind of stuff so I'm sure that would be useful the thermal imaging we did of the house as well back in front just to show you where your heat is escaping more to the point where my heat is escaping that uh, educated me quite a lot there as well so that's something I'm going to look into but it's a really useful device to find out especially in this day and age when we are in an energy and economic crisis where is all all your heat escaping from your house you can find out ever so quickly with this and of course the primary function of this to use on your cars and motorcycles to find out which cylinder isn't working if you've got a problem which relay might not be working if you've got a problem all that kind of good stuff it will do a million other things of course we have literally just touched the surface of what this little device can do to coin a phrase and that is it the tc view 001 top don thermal imaging camera brilliant absolutely stunning bit of equipment far more more advanced than I could get into because I'm just not that technologically minded but I've still found four incredibly good uses for this and I'm hoping you would agree and would consider buying one link is in the description if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing give the video a like a thumbs up and a share and we will catch up in a couple of weeks all right guys thanks for watching I hope it helped